We've all noticed rising gas prices in the Okanagan. So Castanet hit the streets to ask, has this affected your driving habits? No, I still have to fill. I have to get everywhere to pick up children and do my errands and get to work. It's, uh, it's, I can't avoid paying it, but I'm very displeased, that's for sure. I think it changes you what your purchase plans are probably for your next vehicle. I think it definitely bring, brings a hybrid or maybe even a fully electric uh, car into play. No, hasn't no, really changed. No, no, no. We usually don't go anywhere in the summer anyway where we live, so it's not a big deal for us. I don't drive, but even if I did, there is no way I would pay that much for gas. I drive for a living, so being mobile, I, I can't let it stop me. Um, but I do keep a, an eye on them, and if I see it fluctuate a little bit, then that's when I'm going to go and fill up my... Because this is a $200 fill-up. We're kind of... We're stuck. I mean, we're not Vancouver, thank God, because Vancouver is... I feel for those people down there, because their prices are a lot worse. Uh, in Denmark, what did we figure out? That it's uh, more like... Around $2 a liter? Yeah. So, so this is... I mean, it's high. I understand why people are upset, but you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> If you'd like to weigh in on the matter, drop us a line at letters at castanet.net. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Chelsea Powery. Castanet has a large selection of columnists for you to enjoy. Click the opinion button in the yellow masthead to find them all.